So on days like today, we like to try to get our all of our males paired up with it, whatever females are available. Um, some of our males are going to be shedding pretty soon. Uh, they're going into that blue stage, and we don't like pairing them up at that point. Um, sometimes they'll lock up, but uh, we just like giving them their rest, and that, that's kind of like their little period where they get an extra week off or so. Um, but yeah, we got a whole bunch of males going, and we also got a few females that uh, we, we could potentially be interrupting them laying eggs, so um, let's get into it, guys. So to start off with them girls that I was talking about that potentially could be laying eggs, like I said, we could be disturbing them possibly. So I might close it pretty quickly. Uh, usually they're laying, yeah, she's laying in her circle and you could just see how she's glowing right before she's about to go. That's the first girl. Our other one is, this is a fire 66% hat clown. And this one over here is a fire slash vanilla. We only got it marked as a fire right now. We'll, we'll see. Oh yeah, she's looking good too. Hopefully she goes for us in the next, both of them go for us in the next two or three days. So one of our first pairings is gonna be the GHI male to the pastel lesser. So I made these little name tags like this. They say, hello, my morph is, and then it's got the, the blue ones are the males, obviously, the pink ones are the females. Uh, this is the, the male GHI so what we do is we put that sideways like that and we put the female sideways so that way we know that there's a, a male breeding inside there um, another thing that we do is when we are feeding like say if they're they're like this and this girl eats try to put her sideways like that um, there's a bunch of different combinations you can have them upside down if there's a problem and I wanted like Tyler to go and take a look at that snake he'll know that upside down label would be that uh, there's just different codes that you can do with that I like it a lot get back to the breeding though so we got the ghi to the pastel lesser and they're laying next to each other but no locks on that one they locked a few times this year already so not too worried about them uh, we got the pastel hypo het clown male to our het hypo het clown female try to shoot for some more pastel hypo clowns i think at least get one <laughs> i don't think we have one yet and that's a good lock right there won't disturb them too much. Uh, the next one is a vanilla scream yellow belly uh, being bred to our gravel. Hopefully we'll get some highway, some vanilla, um, vanilla yellow belly gravels. That'll be like vanilla highways, I think. Uh, stuff like that. And them two are locked up real nice. They sure like to make a mess when they get it down. Uh, another one of ours is the Sterling Clown to the Pastel Het Clown number two. And no bueno. Just laying there. Maybe I'll switch him over to the other Pastel Het Clown that we've been pairing him to. Superfly Yellow Belly Genex Het Pied being paired up to a Het Piebald. Uh, he locked up with her a few times. I'm expecting them to be locked up. And in Indeed. Pretty awesome combo right there. I can't wait to see <laughs> some Firefly Yellow Belly Genex Pods. Got to be pretty crazy looking. Um, our, another one that we got. We didn't make the male tag for this one yet, but this is the Het Lavender Albino Female. And this one is being bred to our uh, Piebald 100% Het Lavender Albino Male. And they're almost locked. Not quite, but it's there. Hopefully by tonight, we'll have that one. The next one is the Double Hat TSK Exanthic Piebald. So that one, we would have put the Piebald 100% uh, Hat TSK Exanthic. Trying to shoot for some lightning pies. He is cuddling her, but no lock yet. And we have three double head TSK Exanthics. This girl right here just ovulated and is possibly currently still ovulating or just really swollen yet. She's a really beautiful girl. Just look at how big she is. That's crazy. Huge. Lightning pies, my guys and girls. <laughs> Um, the next one, we got the pewter hat clown. We did not get this male made up yet either. It is the granite firefly uh, leopard 100% hat clown. 
and he always gets it done. Yep, he is locked up for sure. That is gonna be an insane combo. I can't wait to see some visual clowns from that pairing. And over here, I think that is it for that side. Over here, I got the Leopard Bee being paired to the Mojave Orange Dream. And they are cuddling, but no lock yet. She is a beautiful girl. She's really big. She might actually be gravid already, so I'm just testing it out to see if they'll lock up. And she's flattening out her tail and trying to stay real low, so that usually means that she doesn't want to be paired with right away. So I'll leave him in there overnight and see what's going on tomorrow and take him out. Hopefully she is gravid. That'll be amazing. Um, and I think that is it. So just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on throw a little bit of content out there show you guys what we're doing i uh, hope you guys have a good weekend or good week depending on when you guys see this uh, thanks for checking us out please don't forget to hit that like bucket like button and uh, hit the subscribe button as well uh, it helps us out a lot and uh, check you guys on the next one thanks